Hey guys, Super Mario Kid 64 here. Welcome to my new project, Let's Play Mario Party 5. Although, I'm not going to put Let's Play in the video name. So, um, I've been talking about doing this project for a while. Um, yeah, so I finished my Superstar Saga playthrough finally two weeks ago. So now we are finally going to be getting started with Mario Party 5. I've really been looking forward to this. This is one of my favorite Mario Party games there is. Um, actually... I think I mentioned this before, but I, Mar this game and Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga came out within like the same week, fun fact. So um, yeah, in 2003, I was only a baby, I was like two years old. Uh, so yeah, um, Mario Party 5, I've been looking forward to this for, for so long, so let's finally get started with this project. So glad Superstar Saga is done. So I did make this new profile on January 1st. But I think I have a second memory card. Like, I just want to check some something really quick. Be because, um, I just made this other one, but I think on my old memory card- Yeah, see, I did actually have more data on my white memory card. So we are going to be, uh, using this one. Sorry about that, I just didn't want to have to re-unlock everything because I think I mentioned this um, in the past, my white memory card issues, and uh, summer after 8th grade, or summer 2014, I had to get a new memory card, my black one, but I had both of them. The white one still works occasionally though. Alright, so anyway, welcome to the Dream Depot, the land of dreams. The name is Clevar, allow me to explain the game modes to you. Which one do you want to hear about? Alright, so we have party mode. Which is where we're going to be spending the majority of the project. We have story mode. Story mode I'm thinking I might do after party mode. Because it is kind of interesting and it's short and fun. So I'm probably going to be covering the story mode in this project. And then we have super dual mode. Which is a very unique mode that hasn't been in any other Mario Party game. Um, and each, by the way, anyone who's played Paper Mario. Uh, you can see that the star spirits or the are the um, hosts of this game, which is really cool. So we have Skolar, who does Super Duel Mode, Miss Star Story Mode, L Star's Party Mode. My uh, um, personal favorite is, I like uh, Miss Star and uh, um, Muscular. And then we have um, Kalmar, who just does Options Mode, that's nothing fun. Then we have Mamar, who does Bonus Mode. Um, bonus mode, you can play some cool extra mini games, which I'll definitely be covering in this project. And then we have mini game mode, which is where you can like play mini games for fun and other cool stuff like that. And yeah, that's basically all the modes. So we are going to be starting with party mode. That's where we are going to be. Oh, and the host is um, Clevar. Yeah, Missar, Skolar, Kalmar. And I remember which e each chapter each of them are too. I remember Elixar's chapter 1, Mamar's chapter 2, Skolar's chapter 3, Muscular's chapter 4, Mistar's chapter 5, Clevar's chapter 6, and Kalmar's chapter 7. Alright, my name's Elixar and I'll be your guide. Do you want to hear the rules? No, we know how to play Mario Party. Okay, we better get the game setting squared away then. So this is just if you want to- you can also do team match. Um, I'm gonna just be doing Battle Royal for the majority of the project. And I love how in the earlier Mario Party games it was Battle Royal, but then they changed it to Battle Royale. Which is weird. Um, so yeah, Team Match isn't really fun, that's what it's like two versus two. I like when it's everyone for themselves. Um, so... The character selection is a little different than Mario Party 4's. Um, DK has been replaced with Toad, Boo, and Koopa, which I am not a DK fan. So I like this character selection a lot better. Toad is one of my personal favorites. Um, so for the first board, I'm going to be using Toad. And then we will play with... Hmm... Wario. So I'm going to be playing with hard computer players for this project. Peach. And how about Yoshi? Or no, Koopa Kid. We'll use Yoshi next time. I like these people. So we have seven boards in this game. We have Toy Dream, Rainbow Dream, Pirate Dream, Undersea Dream, Future Dream, Sweet Dream, and Bowser Nightmare. Bowser Nightmare can be unlocked by beating the story mode. I still have to unlock Expert difficulty, by the way. And to do that, I'll you have to do story mode on hard. So I'm probably going to do that in this project. So, um... 
I'm not going to do the boards in any particular order. We're going to be starting with Toy Jane because this is like the standard first board of the game. So a board inspired by dreams of toys. So for this project, I think I'm going to do 15. To, I really can't decide. Should I do 15 or 20? Hmm. Well, the thing is, I did do 15. All right, so we'll we'll do 15 for this board, and if it's too short, I can always just change to 20. And we're, yeah, there's a lot of different mini games you can do. You can do only easy, only action, skill, or goofy. Obviously, we're gonna do all mini games. And bonus stars on. So that's all the settings. No handicap, and let's get started. My favorite board in the game is either Rainbow or Pirate Dream. Um, the names aren't very creative because they all end with the word dream, but I have to admit Mario Party 5 is some of my favorite board selections. This is the first Mario Party game where the boards have like more dimension, like you're not just going in straight paths, like you can actually like climb up stuff, which is cool. So this is the first Mario Party to make the boards more unique. Alright, the descriptions are really short. Sorry, I have so much to say about this game. Uh, welcome to the Toy Dream. This is a board where the dreams of toys come alive. Play with toys and enjoy their dreams until your heart is content. Alright, so we're gonna do turn order. And I'm going first. Alright. Warrior second, Koopa Kid third, and Peach fourth. So we all get 10 coins to start with, as usual. And now, yeah, this is the first game where DK gets his own space. And then, yeah, there's only one DK space and one Bowser space in this world. It's so hard to unlock the DK and Bowser mini games in this game just because, like, they're so rare. Like, you gotta land on the space and then you gotta get lucky enough that it's a DK mini game. So, let me just make sure the settings are all good. Rumble feature on. Um,. My black control, I think the rumble feature is having problems, but I'm using my white one today. I'm going to get a new GameCube and N64 controllers anyway, but, um, so I'll leave that on fast, and then everything else is good. So let's just talk about the map. Um, blue space as usual, you get three coins, red space, you lose three coins. Um, wow, that's the fast scrolling, not really fast. Um... Happening say something different happens depending on the board. And then there's Bowser and DK. There's not that many spaces, but as you can see, um, some of the spaces will have little item icons on them. Those are orb spaces or capsules. That, I know they call them orbs in Mario Party 6 and 7, but they're capsules in this game. And like there's a lot of different capsules in this game and like they can all have different effects, so it can make the game more interesting. I like how you can just press R to go right to the um, star locations. Okay, guys, so that was the project introduction. I hope you guys enjoyed. Next time, we're going to be starting Toy Dream and starting the Mario Party 5 project. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time for the beginning of Mario Party 5. Later, guys.